Welcome along to this week's edition of The Lowdown. I'm Rebecca Lowe. Tim Howard, Robbie Earl, helping me out today. The five questions I've got, I have 30 seconds to answer each of them. Never hit the time, though, as we know, Robbie Earl. Mm -hmm. um, it's about the weekend's action. Basically, they're turning the tables on me. Robbie Earl, I'm question I'm going to start, Rebecca, with the big news from the weekend, the big headline. Manchester United losing 4-0 against Brentford. Where do United go from here in 30 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> get rid of Ronaldo. Immediately, terminate the contract. Maybe get rid of, for now, temporarily out of the squad, Maguire, Short, De Gea. I mean, I would start, wow. I would start I mean, culling. Fully. Fred, McTominay, maybe give Rashford a rest. Sancho, get him out. Was he even playing yesterday? I mean, get rid, play, the, play some gonna kids. I was going to say, so we, we're going to play the... Play academy. with heart, play some kids, and have Eric Ten Hag come out and say, everyone's expectations, take it down a notch, take it down ten notches. Mm. I have a four-year contract, a five-year contract that they're not firing me from. It's going to be a long, long, long journey. Wow. We ain't going to win a lot of games. Buckle up. You've got a new job at Manchester United. Yeah. <sighs> wow. That was just yeah, that. What a start. Yeah, take, take, take a breather. <laughs> Timbo. <laughs> biggest takeaway from the dramatic draw at Stamford Bridge between Chelsea and Spurs. Oh, biggest takeaway was that for most of that game, so for before the game, I thought Spurs were going to win. Yeah. As the game was going on, I was thinking, oh, so disappointed in Spurs again. Like, mm -hmm. so Spursy. Look at them. He turned up, especially first half. Mm -hmm. Where are you? And then Kane, in that last second with the equaliser, makes me think that at last, maybe just at last, Tottenham fans can have genuine mm -hmm. hope that they can challenge, maybe not challenge, close the gap on City Liverpool and be that team, mm -hmm. um, with Chelsea obviously doing the same, maybe even Arsenal as well. So I came away thinking genuine hope for Spurs. Yeah. Two teams who've started the season well, Manchester City and Arsenal. Who's been yeah. the more impressive two weeks in? I mean, Manchester City, because they look like they're in first gear, let alone second or third. I mean, mm. they just walk around. I mean, Bournemouth, was they just did it half-time, and then they mm. just had a bit of fun second half. And just, I mean, Erling Haaland was probably... Yeah. had eight touches, apparently. Eight touches on the ball. They don't even need him. <laughs> they don't, it's like the cherry on top of their amazing cake. City are definitely the most impressive, but they're on mm. such a different level that you kind of can't even compare them to anybody else. So Arsenal have definitely become, for me, the most exciting one of the most exciting to watch, maybe the most exciting to watch after Manchester City so far at this very early stage. But, yeah, you can't look further than that City. City. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The summer's always an exciting time for fans. Uh, who's, who's impressed you the most in terms of summer signings? <sighs> um, I think I'm going to go with somebody who's a little, bit, a little bit unfashionable, a little bit left field, somebody with a lot of hair. I'm going to go with Mark <laughs> Kukurea. I like it. Wow. Well, he costs a lot of money. Yeah, and I remember yeah. I asked you before the game, is he worth, what, $76 million, mm. something like that? And he came, comes from Brighton. I mean, no one thought he was worth that money. They all mm. thought maybe Chelsea had overpaid because City wanted him and they just wanted to nip in and get him. But I know he only played some of the game against Everton, but he was good against, really good against Tottenham. Mm. I think it takes a character to go to Stamford Bridge as somebody who a year ago not many people had heard of, mm -hmm. slot right in, be commanding on the field... Mm. And do a really excellent job. It's got lovely feet. Yeah. We were thinking that lovely hair yeah. and lovely feet. <laughs> lovely Mark Kukurea is that. my man. Um, final one. Of the promoted teams, so you've got Fulham, Bournemouth and Forest. Yep. Who's impressed you most week two? Oh, that's really hard, actually, because yeah, really Bournemouth fun. were impressive last week mm. against Villa. Villa yeah. Fulham were good against Liverpool, but mm. not very good against whoever they played this weekend. Can't work it out. Was it <laughs> Wolves? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then Nottingham Forest were good today. I, I've... Mm, I'm going to go Forest, based really on the game today yeah. and really based on the atmosphere yeah. and the yeah. kind of yeah. romance yeah. and the... 23 I just and, and also, Steve Cooper spending yeah. all that money and bringing in, like, 372 <laughs> new players <laughs> and finding the glue. Mm. As it looks like starting to find the glue. They played some nice stuff today, got some really good players. And I think Forest, but then they have spent the money. And you know finding glue is difficult. I do know that finding baking. glue is difficult. I did bake some granola bars today, <laughs> which were a Sorry. little crumbly. Did you have to bring that up? <laughs> they just needed some extra syrup. Next time I'll do that. Mm. You're not getting any of them from me now. Don't forget, YouTube is your place for all of our original series, the NBC Sports YouTube channel for my show, The Lowdown, Inside the Mind, Premier League update for all the goals over the weekend, the Two Robbies podcast and the tactics session as well. That was this week's edition. Edition number two of The Lowdown. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos 
all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.